looks like the Eli Manning era in New York is officially over. Daniel Jones is going to be starting for them this Sunday. I'm very surprised by this decision. It's to my understanding that the Giants owner wanted Eli Manning to continue playing. So I'm very surprised to hear that Daniel Jones will be starting. Here's my thing though. I think that if they're not going to play Eli Manning, they should just trade him. They should trade him to Jacksonville or Pittsburgh. I don't think it's right to have him sitting behind Daniel Jones. That's just me. It's just going to be hard for him. I mean, he's a veteran. He led them to two Super Bowl championships. And him sitting behind Daniel Jones, I, I don't think he's going to be happy with that. I will say this though. Eli Manning, he's going to handle this well. I don't see him being disruptive if Daniel Jones starts from now until the end of the season. I don't see him throwing a hissy fit or throwing tantrums. He's going to handle himself professionally. So, I'm not worried about that. I just hope that he does get an opportunity opportunity to play again. I know some people are out on him because he hasn't had a running record the last couple of years and he has that the league in interceptions and I know people are out on him. I get it. I understand. Here's my thing though. He is a good quarterback. He has won the Giants two Super Bowls like I just said. And he's okay. I'm not saying he's Tom Brady. I'm not saying he's Drew Brees or Dan Marino or John Elway. I'm not saying he's that. But he's good enough. He's okay. He, you know, I'm going to say he's above average. And he can play, you know. It's just unfortunate. And we can't put all the blame on Eli Manning. Because remember, the Giants had no running game. They had a shaky offensive line. They currently have no playmakers at wide receiver. They traded away their best player, uh, Odell Beckham, to the Browns. So Eli hasn't had much to work with. So a shaky offensive line, lack of playmakers on offense is what has hurt him. Now, yes, they do have Saquon Barkley. But a running back, that's not enough. You need more. You need a running back. You need a wide receiver. Their tight end is OK. But no, no, no. You need a wide receiver. You need a running back. He just hasn't had enough offensive talent around him. So I'm not going to put all the blame on Eli for the Giants struggling. Is he part of the problem? Yes. I'm not going to completely absolve him. But he, you know, like I said, he's done a, an above average job. So me personally, I would have liked to have seen him at least finish the season. And then they can bring in Daniel Jones. I would have liked to have seen that, and I thought that was the direction the Giants were going in, but that's not the case. Then the Jones will be starting Sunday, and we'll see what happens there. Now the good thing is, Danny Jones didn't have a great preseason. He's very accurate with the ball, and that translates very well in the NFL. If you're accurate with the ball, that's good. So hopefully he'll continue to be accurate this season for the Giants, and hey, who knows? Anything can happen. Maybe he'll lead the Giants to the playoffs. I doubt that. But hey, we'll have to wait and see what happens there. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Please subscribe to my channel if you have not done so already. Just press that subscribe button below this video. If you did that, I'd greatly appreciate it. And plus, you won't miss out on any content that I post. Thanks again for watching. Thanks for listening. I hope that all of you have a blessed, wonderful day.